Hi everyone, I'm Rebecca, the Director of Wildlife Rehabilitation for the Schuylkill Center for Environmental Education, and I'm here today with a Year of Action Challenge for all of our followers and supporters of the Wildlife Clinic and the health of our local wildlife. We hope that you'll help us by following along this video to tackle the problem of lanternflies and the issue of bycatch with lanternfly paper. So follow along and join in with our Year of Action Challenge. The spotted lanternfly is an invasive plant-hopping insect that causes significant damage to local agricultural crops and hardwood trees in Pennsylvania. One commonly recommended method for controlling the spread and damage of these insects is to use sticky paper wrapped around trees which catches the young nymphs and adult flies as they climb up the trunk. However, this kind of trap is indiscriminate, which means that it catches more than just the targeted unwanted bugs. This tape also catches important local insects and even insect-eating birds and bats who are attracted to the bugs and become stuck on the tape themselves. As a warning, this next part of the video shows some graphic images. The Wildlife Clinic has received dozens of birds that have become victims of this tape, and despite our best efforts, very few survive. Most lose large numbers of feathers, severely injure themselves in their attempts to escape, and die from stress and exhaustion. We encourage you to take on our Year of Action Challenge and build a wildlife safe lanternfly trap. Links for full instructions and required materials are located on the Penn State Extension website and will be posted along with this video. And thanks to my dad for helping me make this trap as an example. Step one, start by carefully cutting the top spouts off two plastic milk containers, leaving a couple inches of plastic around the rim. Using strong, weatherproof tape, tape the spouts of the two jugs together to form a double-sided funnel. Next, use a rectangle of plastic-coated window screening approximately two by two and a half feet wide. Fold the top corners together into a triangle and cut the pointed folded end off about two inches from the top, forming a small circle. Using hot glue, secure the cut end of the mesh to the inside of the neck of one of the spouts. The edges of the circle should come all the way around to the front and slightly overlap so there is no gap. Then glue the mesh to the inside edge of the plastic rim as well, which forms a cone of mesh all the way around that hangs down from the spout and is shorter in front and longer in the back. Staple a thin strip of wood that is slightly longer than the longest hanging end of the mesh cone, which will form the back support of the cone against the tree. Staple a second thin strip of wood to the shorter front edge of the mesh cone, overlapping the edges to close the cone and prevent any gaps. Cut the corner of a plastic zipper bag and slide it over the open end of the funnel, the opposite end to the mesh cone. Using a zip tie, secure the bag around the spout, sealing the trap. Use wire or string to tie the trap to a tree with the long piece of wood against the tree and the short piece of wood sticking out away from the trunk, supporting the open mesh cone. Wrap the bottom of the mesh cone around the tree and secure it with staples or small tacks, being careful not to damage the inner bark of the tree. So here we are attaching the trap to the tree. So we've got the longer edge the longer piece of wood is what's going to go against the tree and we're going to just use a piece of string through the handle of the jug to wrap around the tree and then the mesh, the longer edge of the bottom part of the mesh, wraps around the tree so that as the nymphs crawl up they have no choice but to go up into the cone. So now that we've stapled it all the way along the bottom edge here so the nymphs can't crawl up underneath the mesh. They have no choice. They're going to crawl up over top of the mesh. They'll come up into this little cone that we've made all the way around the tree. They'll get directed up into the top of our little funnel. They'll come up through our funnel, 
through into the second jug and fall down into the plastic bag and they won't be able to get out. And then as we need to empty it, we can just open up the Ziploc bag and empty it right back out. And this will last all season. Thanks everyone for following along as we made a wildlife friendly and safe spotted lanternfly trap. We appreciate you helping us out with our year of action challenge as we take small steps every week to make our environment a safer place for us and for our wildlife. Have a great day and join us later on in the week as we share a little bit more information about wildlife and the spotted lanternfly.